Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to take you guys through my first annual inspection that I've ever had to do on an airplane. So I've actually owned an airplane for almost two years now. I had the Cessna 150 for a while, put 200 hours on it and then I got the Mooney. But let me tell you how I avoided an annual for the first year. So I bought the Cessna 150 locally and when I bought it, it was actually in annual. So I was able to go see the plane while it was all taken apart kind of use the annual as a pre-buy, not usually a good idea, but in this case I felt comfortable doing it, went out, got to see the plane, got to know the mechanic a little bit, um, looked over it, and it was in annual when I bought it. So when I picked up the plane, it was fresh out of annual. And then I flew it for almost exactly one year and then sold the airplane to somebody needing an annual. I had planned to annual the airplane and then sell it, but when I put the plane up for sale, the demand was so high for airplanes that I was able to get the price that I wanted for the plane without even having to annual the aircraft. So the person bought it, said, I'll bring a mechanic out, look at it real quick, and then they bought the airplane and annualed it themselves. I actually have no idea what happened with that plane, if it's still flying. Hopefully it is. Um, it's a nice plane and hopefully the guy got uh, a good deal. But didn't have to do an annual. So essentially bought the aircraft, learned how to fly, put 200 hours on the, on the airframe and sold it for more than I bought it for without having to do an annual. So huge deal for me, awesome experience and avoided the annual inspection. This one, not so lucky. I bought it, had to do a pre-buy on it. Uh, I got a very, very thorough pre-buy done on this Mooney, um, which I was very happy to do. And then I knew I had an annual coming up. Actually, it's due in December, but did it uh, in November to line up with the ADs that were also due on the airplane. So anyway, this is my experience with it. It was an owner-assisted annual, so I got to do 99% of the work myself and just left the inspections up to the mechanic, but was able to film a lot of it and bring you guys along. So hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. All right, guys, we are out here at the airport, and today starts my annual. So. Um, I will be doing an owner assisted annual, which means I can help with it under the supervision of my mechanic, which I'm excited about because I'm gonna learn a lot about the plane. I'm gonna film as much of it as I can and I'll show you guys uh, what's going on with the plane. So let's get started. Gotta get this green thing underneath that filter. Cause it goes everywhere. So I'm gonna try that. All right, well, my phone died partway through um, taking the plane apart, but I'll catch you guys up with where we're at right now. So. Got the plane completely taken apart. Um, panels are all off, belly belly panels are off, which was a huge pain in the ass. Um, tons of screws, you can see here. <laughs> and this is what we got going on. So everything's exposed. We're gonna start the inspection basically tomorrow, check everything, lubricate everything, and um, make sure, yeah, everything's the way it's supposed to be. I don't really know, I gotta have it. My mechanic Eddie come under here and actually do uh, the inspection but yeah this was what I wanted to get done today we got the whole engine done uh, all the compressions are tested we got the oil filter removed and he has to inspect that uh, he has to cut it open and inspect it and that's about it 
should be only another few days, I think. It's basically until I can get back here to get it put back together and we should be good. A couple of things I need to get fixed that I found. Uh, one of the lights was loose, so we gotta fix that. Um, we found the routing of these spark plug wires was incorrect and they were sitting on one of the fuel um, injector lines, which you're not allowed to do. So we gotta reroute those, but so far just minor stuff we found, but uh, day one of the annual, pretty happy. Uh, nothing major we found, no, no corrosion, nothing hanging, no big, no big finds, which is what you want, so. Hey guys, day two of the annual, um, and it's all about lubrication today. So uh, they got all the lubrication done underneath, and now I'm in here, um, just lubricating everything in here. Let me show you what I got. Let's see here, you got push rods, all the connections, they go all the way to the front up there. Um, got your jack screw for your trim. Got the hinge for that. Lubricate that. Checking all the bolts, everything in here. Did notice that some of these clips here came off. Um, you can see that the last guy tried to, uh, I guess, use some RTV to hold them on there, but um, they actually came off on this side. So I have to reattach those because there's really no way to hold them on um, once you put the panel on. But nothing major, no cracks in anything, nothing like that. And yesterday, while they were looking at it, when I wasn't here, they didn't find anything major either. So fingers crossed it continues this way, but yeah, keep going. All right, day two done. Again, nothing major found. Just talked to my mechanic and he said he looked over it yesterday. He has not found anything in the annual that would make it non-airworthy, which is huge. Uh, obviously a couple small things that we're gonna get um, addressed while it's in annual, but nothing major. And um, if all goes well, fingers crossed, tomorrow it'll be done, which would be amazing. That's like less than a week in and out of annual. Um, so plane's in really good shape and I'm stoked because I got family coming in for Thanksgiving and I might be able to go flying with them. So I'm excited. So now we are taking the wheels off to check the wheel bearings, yada, 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 but see up in here, landing gear. We gotta come and we gotta take this gear door off maybe so that we can get in there and get the caliper loose. So that's what I'm doing. So wheel bearings all looked good. Ow. Um, I'll put back together. I gotta get the tire back on or the wheel back on, and then um, get the brake pads back on. But you gotta safety wire them on retractable landing gear. So um, I'm not the best at using safety wire, but I'll get it. So the process here is get the wheel nut on, or the axle nut on, and then you wanna be able to rotate the tire and it spin about one. That's a little less than one, but I think that's fine. You don't want it to spin all freely, um, just in case when you take off, you get like a vibration or something like that. This'll damp itself out. You don't need to be tapping the brakes or anything like that. It'll slow itself down, so I think that's good. I'll have the mechanic check it out to verify and then I'm gonna tighten it up. Okay, get the wheel put back on, everything's done in here. Gear door is back on, brakes are back on, safety wired. Lubed up these linkages, they were kind of tight, so they're nice and loose now. 
And now we gotta grease everything. That is so nice. <laughs> Alright guys, all reassembled, did not film it because I forgot, but um, all battened up, we finished everything. Eddie, my mechanic, is just getting all the paperwork done on it. Probably gonna run it up and go for a quick test flight, but um, this is gonna end today. Um, I don't know where the video's ending, but I'm done with the annual. And um, yeah, no major findings, awesome annual. I have no idea what my bill is yet, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be because I thought I was gonna find some stuff wrong. So super stoked and yeah, test flight and run up time, so. Right, guys that's gonna wrap this one up the test flight right after this went just fine um, stay tuned for the next video I'm gonna take you guys on a full flight from the airport where I got the annual done back to the airport where I keep the airplane and then I'm recap the whole annual go over everything that we did and I'll give you guys a summary of the entire annual inspection after that be sure to stay tuned because on a flight about two days ago I had a, a pretty catastrophic failure that has the airplane actually grounded right now so I just ordered parts to get that fixed and the airport is currently stranded at a, another airport because it is not flyable right now. So I have to get a mechanic to come out there with me and fix it and then fly it home. And that's going to be interesting. So I'll take you guys along for that. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, if I'm going to be able to even fix it at that airport, I might have to hand prop the plane to get it home. Hint, hint. Yeah, be sure to stay tuned. I'm going to take you guys along for that, film the whole thing. And um, yeah, if you guys like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, you can follow me on Instagram if you want to. All that jazz. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.